Hi guys, we're going to be looking at um, expanding linear brackets in this session. Okay, to start off with a question, I've got negative 2 times 3y minus 2 in, inside the brackets. So what it really means is, I'm going to put some colors here so I can, you can kind of see what's happening. I'm going to write negative 2 in the front here in red. So what this simply means is that you've got negative 2 multiplied by 3y. So negative 2 times 3y. And again, negative 2 minus 2. Uh, and this time, it's being multiplied by that negative 2 there. So to sum it up, I've got negative 2 times 3y, which is negative 6y. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Therefore, my final answer after expanding this brackets is negative 6y plus 4. Okay, having a look at another example. So I've got a, which is being multiplied um, by a, and of course also being multiplied by 3. So, I mean, you don't need to actually write this, like you don't need to write actually go a, um, multiplied by a plus a multiplied by 3. I mean, this is, you know, it's writing, writing it like this is, you know, it's not necessary because you can straight away go from a times a times a is a squared. Well, and then a times 3 is 3a. All right, so you don't actually need to do, you can go directly from here to here. So if I was to show you another example, if I have x times x plus 7, then I can write this up straight away as, all right, so I've got x times x, which is x squared, and then x times plus 7 is going to be plus 7x. That's it. All right. Or if I have 3 times a plus b, then this could be written as, 3 times a is 3a, and then 3 times b is 3b. Cool. Next question. Something like this. So obviously there's a little bit more to do in this case, but we still, you know, it's still the same kind of idea. But we don't really do anything to the 3x, so we just leave 3x as it is. Um, and then now we need to expand the brackets on the right-hand side. So we've got... 2 times 3, that's going to be 6. And then we have 2 times negative x, which is going to be negative 2x. Okay. And from this point, we need to look at our like terms. So we've got x and x here as our like terms. So 3x minus 2x is going to be 1x. And we just write it as one, um, just x. And the number, we don't really do anything to it. So we just leave it as it is. So x plus 6. All right, one more example. What about something like this? So as usual, guys, we work with our brackets first, get, all the, get rid of all the brackets, look for like terms, and then combine it all together. All right, so the first step I'm going to do is I've got 3 multiplied by 2x. All right. 3 times 2x. I'm actually going to write this out so you guys can see what's happening here. And then you've got 3 times negative 7 plus 3 times negative 7. Now, this particular bracket has a negative in front of it. Now, in maths, remember, we have this very lazy habit of not writing 1. That, that actually means there's actually a 1 there. All right. So if that's the case. We've got negative 1 multiplied by x. So it's going to be negative 1 multiplied by x. And we also have negative 1 multiplied by positive 3. So minus 1 times 3. So if we were to combine all of these things now, or actually just get rid of the multiplication sign, 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Now I've got to look at my like terms. I've got 6x and negative x. 
and of course my two numbers. So 6x minus x, that's going to be 5x. Negative 21 minus 3 is going to be negative 24. And that is how you expand brackets, guys. And if you have any questions, just write them in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them. Cool. Thank you for watching.